and you have to remember, for the braces scene, this is long before they had CGI effects. So everything in this movie was practical. So this is how they did it. They said, Oliver, okay, this is what we want you to do. We went to Boss Films, and I met Richard Adelin. He said, explain exactly how they're going to do it. He says, we're going to animate the braces coming out of your mouth. And I said, that's interesting. How are you going to do that? And I learned soon enough. They made a mold on my head. They dripped this plaster on my head. And I was like, that's cool, but how am I going to breathe? They said, oh, that's, we have it all figured out for you. You're going to breathe out of these little straws. We're going to put straws in your nose, and um, you're going to be able to breathe. So don't worry. You won't suffocate at all. And I was like, what if the straws come out? What if it drips over my nose? So I said, no, no, no. We'll keep the passages clear. You'll be just fine. And I was. So they made the mold of my head, and then they made this little, like, I guess a device that kind of had my mouth kind of shaped on it, and they had the braces, just the first part of the scene where they pull the braces out. And so I put that on my mouth and I had to emote with that. Then they intercut that with different moments, I guess, uh, that a time sequence where it's showing this is the first section where they cut away where the braces first attack me. Then they have me up on the ceiling. So I believe that's how they actually did the braces scene from my 14 year old perspective of that entire sequence. I thought it looked really good. I think it looked, I think in a lot of ways it probably looks better than what they would do today because it is practical, it is real.